The next piece is going to be implications, and that's going to deal with those um, Boolean logics we did before, right? The if then, right? With if you made this much money, we charge you this much in taxes, and if you made more or less, you know. So this is the um, the basis of those statements. We call them conditional statements, or in other words, implication, only because one implies the other, or on a condition, you get this result. So implications are logical conditional statements where statement P is called the antecedent and um, Q is called the consequence. So if we say if P then Q, then this arrow here means if then, right? So then. And so if P then Q then this would mean that P is the antecedent and Q is the consequence. Okay, so let's just take some written expressions or written statements and identify the antecedent and consequence in these implications. So if it is raining, then there are clouds in the sky. So if we take the antecedent, which is the statement P, so just without the condition, we know that it has to be raining, right? That would be the antecedent. Q would be the consequence. So if it was raining, what happens to the sky? Well, clouds are in the sky. So we're always looking for the condition and the consequence. So if you tweet in class, you will receive detention. So what is the antecedent? What's the condition? Well, um, you tweet in class. Q is what happens if you tweet in class? What is the consequence? Well, I received detention, right? All right. Okay, here, you are cool if you eat Skittles. And so, um, and this is so true, by the way, because I love Skittles and I feel like I'm super cool. So, I don't know. So, what is the condition? What do I have to do to be cool? I have to eat Skittles. And then what would be the consequence of eating Skittles? You have to be cool, right? You are cool. Okay, so here we can kind of get an idea of the antecedent and the consequence. So in these implications, we can we have full arguments with this. You're like, no, because I feel I'm cool if I eat Twix. And I would say, oh man, Shoot, you're right, because Twix is super cool, right? So, you know, um, these these can be argued, right? You would argue, some of you would argue like, uh-uh, no, nah, it's a Starburst day, honey. You know, like you're only cool if you eat Starburst, right? So we could actually have a, probably a full conversation about candy and which candy makes us really cool, right? And so that's why we need these logical um, truth, these logic and these truth tables, right? So we could give good arguments to our, our um, reasoning. So then I have this piece here. If I win tickets to Coachella, I will take my friend. So here we have to look at the antecedent P, which is I win tickets to Coachella. And what is the consequence? If I win, then I get to take my friend. Oops. Okay, so what are the four possible outcomes? So let's think about our truth tables, right? Well, the first outcome is always that if I win tickets, I then I take my friend
you know, to Coachella, right? The other part is um, if I win tickets, copy, paste, <laughs> that I still win tickets, but then what do I do? Then my husband's like, oh, you won tickets? Oh, I want to go, right? And what happens? You don't end up taking your friend. Then I, then I don't take my friend, right? <clears throat> okay, so the other one is, oops, if, well, what's the other one is, um, if I don't win tickets, because not everybody wins tickets that goes to concerts. We usually, what, buy them, right? So if I don't win tickets, then I take my friend. That's okay, because I'm looking, again, I think the key word here to look at is the word win, right? Because I have a condition. I have to win them, meaning I don't pay for them. I don't go out and buy them. No one gives them to me. I have to win them on the radio. So if I don't win tickets, but I go anyways, well, then at that point, someone bought tickets, someone gave me tickets, right? So, and then what's the last one? The last one is, you're like, well, Darlene, that you don't win, you don't go. How about that? <laughs> and I would say, oh, yes, that is true. Some of us who just can't afford to go to concert. Um, and then um, I would say, yeah, if you don't win tickets and then you don't go, right? So, yeah. So those are the four um, scenarios that if you win, you take your friend or you don't. The other scenario is if you don't win and you go anyways, if you don't win, you don't go. And you guys do something else fun, like go get, do wine night and painting or something fun, you know? So those are the four conditions. And out of these four scenarios, we are able to make a truth table for these. We know the four scenarios. Remember that two statements, two statements, two choices, true, false, make four scenarios. So now let's rewrite this in symbolic notation into logic format of a truth table. So that's our next example. So we'll try to do, have it in the window. There we go. <clears throat> and our statements are not A and B anymore. They're P and Q, but it doesn't matter what we label them. It's, the, it's what the statements mean, right? So here's P, Q. Q happens to be the consequence. And remember, every time we have two statements, it's always true, false, false, and then true, false, true, false. Okay, so if P, then Q. Okay, so now let's look at this. So we're going to look up here. If I win tickets, I take my friend. If I win tickets, I take my friend. Okay, are you... You a bad friend? No, everything worked out perfectly. You won the tickets and you took your friend. Now, if I win tickets and you didn't take your friend, so you won tickets and then your husband or, I'm sorry, your significant other says, oh man, don't take your friend, take me, come on. And you're like, no man, I promise, I can't break a promise. And you're like, yeah, you can. And then you take your uh, you take your uh, significant other instead of your friend. I don't know. Are you a good friend? No, you bailed on your friend. That's messed up. You should take your friend to Coachella. So that's false. Okay. The next scenario is if you don't win tickets but you went anyways. And you're like, well, that has to be false because if you didn't win, you didn't go. That's not necessarily true. If I didn't win, how else could I get the tickets? Well, I could buy them. Maybe my friend bought them. And maybe my significant other bought them for me, right? There's so many different scenarios of how I could get tickets and still go, 
right? So even if I still didn't win, there were other ways that I could have had tickets and I committed to taking my friend. Are you a bad friend? I mean, now you, you paid for them or something, right? So now you're a great friend. So true. Now, um, the last one is if you didn't win and you didn't go. No harm done, right? You didn't win, so you guys didn't go. But you guys went out anyways. You went out to dinner, had a wine night, whatever you wanted to do. Whiskey night, right? So are you a bad friend? No, right? You're great. You went out anyways. You just didn't go to Coachella. So notice the only time that you were a bad friend is when you actually did win the tickets and you didn't take them. You know, so think of it like in this, can, I like this scenario a lot because it shows the idea of friendship. And, you know, when that friend came to you and said, man, that was really messed up that you won and you didn't take me. And you're like, well, no, you know, like, obviously I would take my significant other over you. And then this argument that your friend would have coming back to you would actually be valid, wouldn't it? It would be valid. It said, no, on the condition that you won, you said you would take me. And you would have to say, yes, you're right. You're right. I agree with that statement. However, it was my anniversary or blah, blah, blah. And I felt I had to take my sister or, you know, something. There's other reasoning behind that. But see how like it can be emotion logic can be emotional, right? Because you did hurt your friend's feelings by not taking them. And there is emotion, but then notice that valid and logical reasoning can be incorporated saying, well, yeah, you know what? You are right, friend. If I said if I won that I would take you and I didn't, and that was wrong of me, you're right about that. I should have explained to you further the situation of why I needed to take my my brother, right? And, and so then the emotional part comes, but you have to have valid reasoning and logic when you're in a conversation because we do have to take in consideration feelings, but also say, you know, there is valid reasoning behind this too, you know? So, um, in any case, now that you have an additional table to know. So anytime there is an implication or if P then Q, this is the truth value. So the only time your truth value will be false is if the antecedent was true. Right. If the if the condition was true and then your your consequence was false, that's the only time you have a false implication. OK, if you took your friend, I mean, if you won tickets to Coachella, but didn't take your friend. OK, so other than that, there's every true statement because you still went no matter what or you guys went out anyways and you weren't a bad friend.